Since folks don't like to read or do a simple Google search, Mormons are a Christian-based religion. They believe in Jesus, just like Christians and Protestants and Episcopalian and um, whatever other religions they got. They are Christian-based. So people are going on this whole tirade. I'm like, oh my God, they're Mormon. They're preaching Mormonism. They are no different than Southern Baptists and Southern Christians that do the same shit. I've seen a lot of black women talking about why are we having sympathy for this white woman? Um, first of all, <laughs> you ain't got no leg to stand on because black women are just as male centered, if not more, than white women. Please have several seats. This ain't got shit to do with race. I will be the first to let y'all know because y'all the ones who came up with that soft life bullshit. Y'all was sitting there preaching that soft life BS. I sat back and was like, why is this shit revolved around a man? The number of black women making videos and content about I need a man to take care of me. I don't want to pay any bills. Please have several fucking seats. The whole Ballerina Farm article just proved that majority, there is a majority of women who align with this. A lot of y'all are, well, she's married to a billionaire. He's not a billionaire. His daddy is a billionaire. Number one. Number two, we don't know the entire circumstances in regards to their finances. We don't. What I do know, and this is just purely speculative, is he manages that entire household finances. She may be the face of Ballerina Farm on social media, but I guarantee that he is managing all of the finances. So even though she's racking up millions of views on the videos, that money ain't going to her. She's not making that money. It's going to him. While most people think that she was tricked or trapped or she's in danger or whatever the case may be, this is just a friendly reminder that women in their 20s don't fucking listen. They do not listen at all. We can sit there and give them the entire playbook of things to look out for. They don't listen. This ain't got shit to do with race because I see it on both sides. Just on threads, I made a post about how I'm not built to be nobody's wife. I have no desire and interest to be anybody's wife. I have no desire and interest to be a mother again or play stepmother to anybody's rugrats. And I have more women in my comment section talking about, oh, you need to take a trip to the nursing home and see how many women are alone. You need a man. Believe it or not, there are way more male-centered women than there are who women who are not centering their lives and revolving their lives around men. It is very easy to sit there and pick apart this woman's life because it's not you. But I guarantee that I could look at your social media and I could look at your life and you're no different than she is. Because the number of women who are upset and triggered at other women for choosing not to marry or have children, it's like, ooh, the pot calling the kettle black. That is my TED Talk.